guys, welcome to Makeup Your Mind's Beauty channel. It's Kimmy here. Today I decided to do my foundation routine or my face routine. What um, I do every day before I apply my the rest of my makeup, my eyeshadows and stuff like that. Not all the time will I wear foundation and primer. Um, if I do videos, obviously I will to kind of even out my complexion and my skin tone if we go to special events. But this is my routine if I happen to apply foundation for the day or before I make a video. So yeah, I'm going to let you guys get on to watching this tutorial and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Okay, so I'm back and I have no makeup on whatsoever. I did apply some Carmex lip balm. Um, my lips are kind of chapped. The weather's changing dramatically and it's just annoying. Um, you can see my imperfections and of course nobody's perfect. I've got circles under my eyes some blemishes through here. Um, mostly the rest of my face is okay. I got a little bit of purple discoloration right here from acne a while back. First of all, I'm going to get my bangs or fringe out of the way, so I'm just going to stick it up in a headband. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to moisturize my face, and I have been using Lubiderm Daily Moisture Moisturizing Lotion for two years now. Um, this is for normal to dry skin. It's fragrance-free, developed by dermatologists for healthier skin. What I'm going to do is just apply a bit of it. Just dab the lotion. Then I am going to use my primer. And um, Makeup by Tiffany D and my friend Bran who really watches her channel um, suggested using the Monistat Chafing Relief Powder Gel as a primer. I'm just going to grab a little bit on my finger and I dab that. And it goes on really smooth. It evens out your skin. It makes it easier for your foundation to apply. And I have a mirror back here, that's what I keep looking at. Just want to make sure you even it out really well. The foundation I've been using is the Ome TLC. It's a truly lasting color. This foundation is buildable and um, it's got great coverage. You can build it up or tone it down. So what I do is I just squirt with the pump one squirt on the back of my hand. And I use my foundation brush. And this stuff's really thick, like extremely thick. So I might need more. It just depends on what coverage I want. And make sure all the streaks are gone and blended it and blend it in real well. You don't want to remove the foundation, you just kind of want to blend it a bit. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my concealer. The uh, one that I've been using a lot is just the e.l.f. Tone Correcting Concealer in Ivory. And it looks like this. I just put it on any problem areas I might have. And then underneath my eyes. And 
and I just use my finger and gently pat it. And because this is a liquid consistency, it's going to take a few moments to dry. So um, while it's drying, I'm going to go ahead and fill in my eyebrows. Today I found kind of easier or easiest for me, and I haven't had any problems with it, is I just take a brown eyeliner, or at least one that's close enough to my natural color of hair, and I just fill it in real quick. You want to do short strokes, obviously. And I try to keep it light so it's not like a solid line. You can tell the difference already. This one looks darker than this one. Then I just go in with one of these. It's a brow brush and an eyelash comb. And I just run it through my brows to kind of blend that liner in. So now that I've done my brows, I'm going to go ahead and do my, finish my face. What I'm going to do is I have this e.l.f. high definition powder. It's transparent and it's a very fine sheer powder from um, Islip's face. I've used quite a bit of it. What I do is I put the powder puff in there and I kind of shake it. And then I concentrate on the places that I applied the concealer. I want to make sure that those aren't going to shift around throughout the day. And then just kind of puff it everywhere else. I know it looks like a lot of um, powder, but I try not to put too much on. Let that set for a second so anything else that's in the concealer or foundation that hasn't dried up yet is um, being soaked up into this powder. Um, what I'm going to do is just get a fluffy brush. This one here is a pressed, smooth skin pressed face powder from NYC and it is in the color Warm Beige. I'm going to just grab a little bit, not a lot, just a little, and blend. So I'm kind of blending the transparent color and this together. It evens out my skin tone. And then when I'm done with that, applying it off, I just go back in with the brush and kind of buff in circular motions to blend everything together. Okay, and the last step is um, I usually apply my contouring and my blush. I am going to use the e.l.f. Contouring Blush in Bronzing Powder. Um, I've used this in several different videos already. Um, but Sorry, I'm blinding you. There's the bronzer and there's the blush. I really like this blush. It's a really pretty color for my skin tone. And I'm fair to medium, so... I don't know, I just really like it. What I'm going to use for the contour is this flat um, powder brush. Oops. What I'm going to do is just kind of dab it in and then tap it along where I want to contour. And blend. And then I grab my blush brush and I pick up the blush. But that's it. That is my face routine. I do all of this before I start filming my eyeshadow tutorials and stuff like that. 
So yeah, this is the finished look. Uh, it's quick, it's pretty simple for me. Um, I think it covered, it gives enough coverage for at least what I'm looking for. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it was pretty quick and simple for me to do. This is just my everyday routine, what I've been using to apply my makeup and stuff and the products I use. You can still see some of my imperfections, but honestly, I'm not one of those people who freaks out if my face isn't flawless. I'm human, I'm going to have imperfections on my face, there's nothing I can do about it. I actually have a few permanent imperfections on my face. I hope this was helpful to you guys um, to get some ideas of cheaper alternative makeup products. I have been using this foundation since October 2010, and it's to there right now. Glincy actually did a review on it, and I think that's the reason why I ended up purchasing it. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.